going on YouTube. Added a couple of green light pieces today. One of them was just a Hobby Lobby find. This one's pretty sweet. This is, uh, I think this is a Hobby exclusive FDNY. Really interesting light bar. Nice Crown Vic. I got this one today for the uh, U.S. Capitol Police. I think I'm somewhere around like 20 or 25 of these Crown Vics. I like these ones that have the uh, the aluminum wheels. I think they're aluminum. I don't know, but they're not the the steely wheels that most of them come with. Like for example, this one here. A lot of these green light Crown Vic police cars come with these wheels, which are black steelies and then sometimes they'll have the chrome hubcap sometimes they don't but I do like the Crown Vic I don't buy all of them but I do buy a decent amount I got this one on eBay probably around a year ago I think I paid like eight bucks or something like that I'm glad I bought it when I did because this one this is an expensive car to get now they sell usually between 20 and 30 I don't know if it's just the delivery that people like or the fact that it's a Puerto Rico car I don't know what the deal is there but it's definitely a desirable police car okay now this one here this is a hitch and tow <clears throat> I had the chance to buy this when it came out it's series four and I left it on the pegs because I was more interested in at that time that was right when I started collecting uh, this came out that was right after I started collecting because I started collecting like the end of 2014 I think but I saw this on the pigs a couple times and uh, I left it because I was more interested in classic cars and trucks especially with the hitch and toes but now I'm more interested in um just real clean real simple civilian model stuff especially late model late model cars <clears throat> so anyways let's uh, get this out and take a look um, so series 4 you had a 62 Dodge D100 with a Shasta air flight you had the 68 Chevy C10 in the concession trailer, which I believe that was the Krispy Kreme. <clears throat> then you had the uh, this one, and then you had a, a Dodge Ram with a horse trailer, which I think was an NYPD. So let's get this out. I've been wanting one of these Ford Explorers. I have the casting. I have, I don't know, five or ten of them, but they're all police interceptors <clears throat> but green light hasn't done very many of these civilian model Ford Explorers and because of that they are expensive to get or they can be expensive to get this one here I think is the cheapest one so here's the boat green light makes a really nice boat 
I like the Johnny Lightning boat a lot too, though. I think that's a really nice boat as well. So this is the boat and the trailer. And then with the boat, you also have the, what would be the, the canvas cover. Trailer is really nice, just a single axle. So, pretty cool. This is actually only the second boat casting that I have, but I honestly, I think they've only put it out twice. Maybe three times. I, I know they haven't done this boat very many times. Um, <clears throat> the last time they did it that I got was with the F-150. So that's pretty cool. I, I'm not too crazy about the boat, but I mean, I'll keep it. But now we got to take a look at this. Is this, this is the whole purpose of me buying this. Um, I was going to buy this. There are people on eBay that sell this by itself without the boat. And I was looking at going that route, but I found... I found this mint in the package for the same or, or even less than what a lot of people are asking for just this Ford Explorer. But this is, an, a, this is just a really nice civilian model Ford Explorer with a very simple, very plain civilian deco. I mean, this thing is so authentic looking. but I just a minute. <clears throat> so I don't know what it is with green light and the Ford products but the Crown Vic is just about the only Ford that they do that doesn't have lens headlights and taillights almost every Ford model that they put out has headlights and taillights including the uh, Fiesta the Focus the Fusion, um, the F-150s have lensed headlights, um, the Explorer has headlights and taillights, and then here's another really nice civilian model. This is the Escape. They do a really nice job with this one as well. This one also has lensed headlights and taillights. Another thing too about both of these cars, the Escape and the Explorer, is that they both have prototypical wheels. So these are OEM stock wheels. So I'm really happy to uh, finally get this one in the collection. I think unless they start putting these out more, these are only going to increase in price. They put them out a lot, but most of the time when they put them out, you're getting something like this with the police livery. In this case, it's the CHP. I was thinking about doing a video on CHP castings just because I have so many of them um, and so many brands too. I mean, everybody from Racing Champs to Greenlight to Auto World. Um, I think I'm missing one too. There's just so many California Highway Patrol castings. So most of the time when they put this uh, Ford Explorer out, they put it out as the um, the uh, Ford Police 
pursuit vehicle. Kind of like, it's kind of the same thing as what they do with the Ford Taurus, which is another Ford that they, that they do that has lens headlights and taillights. And that one also very rarely comes out with, um, with civilian livery. It usually only has police deco. The only Ford Taurus that I have that has what could be considered a civilian deco is the, um, it's a Hollywood series for men in black, but it's a really, really nice release. It's so murdered out. It's more blacked out than any of the black bandit cars that I've ever come across. Um, because it's black, the windows are blacked out, the headlights and taillights are blacked out, the interior, the wheels. Um, I've never seen another black bandit that has the headlights and taillights blacked out. So it's a really cool look. I've shown it in the past. I might show it at some point in the future. But uh, that they've only done a couple civilian decos. And when you find those, those are expensive too, you know, for some reason people ask more money for those the stance on this one looks a little bit different than the california highway patrol it looks like it's a little bit higher <clears throat> it is it's a smidgen higher not much but i think it's definitely enough to where it's noticeable look at the side view mirror gives you the best indication of the difference. Another one of these that I really like, as far as like the police interceptors go, is the Aspen police from the Motor World Diorama from last, I think it was last year, or maybe it was early this year, but I think it was late 2017. I like the livery on that Aspen police car. It had That diorama had the Ski Country Ford Mustang, which is another car that they've done a few times, but I think that's the only one that has the ski rack on the trunk. That is a nice looking die cast car. I mean, the, the fit and finish on this is nice enough that it would, oh, it could almost pass for like a Kyosho type of a car. The lighting is really bad. There is some flashing going on uh, at the top of the grill there. I don't know. It feels real soft, almost like rubber cement. So I'll get the hobby knife and get that cleaned up. That shouldn't be too big of a deal. And otherwise, it's in really nice shape. Um, you know, sometimes you do end up with a casting that has some factory flaws, but I'm not seeing anything with this. The base looks like it's spun proper. And uh, headlights and taillights look good. They sure did make a lot of these for as expensive as they are. Very, very cool casting.
Yeah, that's got to be one of the best rolling hitch and toes. Usually, if the if the pull vehicle or if the tow vehicle rolls, the trailer doesn't. If the trailer rolls, usually the tow vehicle doesn't. This is a nice little setup here. Very cool. All right. Well, that's it for Monday. I still got some other stuff on the way. It'll probably be later this week, though. A lot of it shipped out today, so. Thank you for checking it out. You guys have a good night, and I will holler at the next video.